Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a jack-in-the-box. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here in the center of my paper and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line down and stop, leave it floating, come back to the dot, draw a straight diagonal out on the right, come back to the dot, draw a straight diagonal line out on the left. Come to this section, this point right here on the right, draw a straight line down. Come down to the bottom of the middle line and draw a straight line over, connect. Come on the left hand side, draw a straight line down. Come right over here to the center line again and connect. Inside, right about here, we're going to draw a spiral. So I do curve line, curve line, curve line, and stop. <clears throat> and right where I stop, I'm going to draw a circle. And it can be sideways and kind of off because we're going to show how this is kind of moving. Right at the top of the circle, I draw a little curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, and stop. Come back to the left. Draw a zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, connect on the left. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, connect on the right. Come all the way back up to the top and draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. And at the very end, if you have room, little curve line, little curve line, little curve line, connect. Come right about here on the center and we're just going to draw a curve line out on the left. And then we're going to draw a little curve line, bigger curve line, connect. And come over on the right, draw a curve line out, draw a little curve line, big curve line, connect. Now because we want this to kind of look like it's moving, going boing, 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 we're going to add what we call animation lines. Those little two curve lines on the left and two little curve lines on the right. I come back up to the top right here underneath and I'm just going to draw a curve line connect, little curve line, curve line, bigger curve line, connect. Come inside my circle, put one dot, put another dot, baby circle, big curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Okay? Now we're going to complete the bottom part. We're going to leave floating lines. So I come down to this corner on the left and I draw a straight line up, jump over, straight line connect. Come on the right hand side, we're going to draw a straight line in. And I think I'm just going to leave that there. Now come over here on the left and draw a straight line up, straight line over, jump over, straight line down, connect. We're going to repeat that, so we're going to go straight line up, straight line over, straight line out, and connect. Right here on the lower right side. I'm going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And right at the end, I'm going to put a curve line, straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect. Now I'm going to decorate. I come over on this panel and I draw one, two, three, four straight lines, I think. Come on this side and I'm going to put a dot. I'm going to go straight line down, straight line out, straight line in, straight line down, up, down, up, out, straight line up, straight line connect. And I'm going to put one, two, three baby circles. Okay, I think that's everything.
Yes. Let's see how. I'm going to put one more straight line right here. Good. Now it looks better. Um, let's see how we're going to color it in. Okay, you can color this in any way you want, but I always try to give the little clown inside a red nose. I'm going to trim this with red because I'm going to make my star red, my baby circles red, and I'm going to make this red and white stripes, ABAB -A -B pattern. Okay? And then I come uh, in, and my other big color is going to be yellow. So I'm going to do yellow on the B part. I'm going to do yellow on the background of this section of my jack-o'-lantern. I mean jack in the box. Hello. And I'm going to do yellow for the big space behind him. And this is mainly because yellow makes him pop a little bit more. And I'm going to do the little handle yellow. Okay. Now for the inside of the box, I use purple. I could have used black, but I don't want to totally annihilate all of my black little animation lines and part of my spiral. So what I did was I used purple for the inside of the box, so it gives it a little bit of dimension. And then the rest of him, I used blue on his little collar. I used blue on this section of his hat. I gave him orange hair and I brought in the yellow again for his pom-pom and the little part of his hat. Okay? Alright, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Jack in the Box all colored in, ready to be played with. Okay, bye-bye.